Hi everybody, my name is Lukas Roszycka and in this video I'm gonna show you how to add time signature and key changes to your song in Studio One. So let's first take a look at how we can add time signature changes and key changes manually because I read this question pretty often. We are here at Studio One 5 and version 5 has a new signature track and this track holds time signature and key changes. So to show this global track you either click this icon here or your track controls are wide enough and there are icons for every global track. So this is the signature track. And you can click the plus button which inserts at the cursor position or you right click right where you want to put this. So if I select time signature change I can enter for instance 68 and then we have a 68. And we can do the same for key changes. Right click, enter a key and that's it. So how can we boost our workflow if we use time signature changes a lot? Let's show the macro toolbar and add a new page time signatures. And a new group as well and we also call it time signatures. And now we can right click and add a new button and right click again and we can assign a new macro to this. And here you can search for insert time signature. Here it is. So I can add this command to our macro. Now double click the command to show the command's arguments. Here it is and here I can enter a bar. I could do that to have a fixed bar, but if I leave this empty, this will take the bar where the cursor currently is. Okay, and now let's enter 4, 4 and press OK. I call this one 4, 4 and now we have a custom button for 4, 4. So yeah, it would make sense to repeat the whole thing for the time signatures we often use. For that, I right click and say Duplicate macro. Then I go to edit to make a macro for 7-8 because I'm a jazz and fusion musician. Okay, and now I can insert some of these time signature changes very, very fast. And if you still like to have it even faster, go to the keyboard shortcuts and create a key command for each of them. All right. I've already added these two macros to Prisoners Exchange, so you can just go to the Cloud tab in the browser and select Exchange and look for Time Signature Changes and you're gonna find it there. Well, of course, you can do the same for key changes, but for me personally, it doesn't make sense to add buttons for all major and minor keys. But you can do this if you want. There's a command for this as well. I hope this short tutorial was helpful for you. Thanks for watching.